like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. It may be freezing cold right now, but summer is on its way. When the heat grows day by day, we usually choose water parks and activities in summer to enjoy and relax. There are plenty of water parks available to entertain you, but have you ever wondered what the most dangerous slides in the world are? Well, don't bother. Here's a list of the most insane water slides that faced a ban for being too dangerous. Cannonball Drop, New Jersey. You just know a slide named that won't stand for long. We have a slide from the notorious action park that will make your jaw drop at the absurdity to start our list. Action Park, where this slide was located, is so notorious that it was shut down in 1996 after a total of six deaths and so many injuries that no one seems able to actually count them. Action Park didn't stay closed though, it reopened in 2010. One of the more notorious Action Park rides was called Cannonball Falls and it featured a 10-foot drop into a mountain pool. It was the most dangerous dangerous water slide in the state of New Jersey with six injuries during the 2015 season alone. The state was filled with dangerous water slides, so you can imagine how bad this one was. Cannonball Falls was permanently closed a week before the end of the 2015 season. But that isn't all for Action Park. Stick around to the end to see its most dangerous slide. Extreme Fesser, Germany. You can find this right inside the Galaxy Erding Tropical Spa, just 45 minutes away from Munich, Germany. Talk about sexism, this ride is suitable for men, but not for women. A record in incidents has shown that many women have hurt their private parts while riding the extreme faster, and some of them even had to be hospitalized. For that reason, this ride is now only open for male riders. The extreme faster reaches speeds as high as 45 miles per hour and for some reason, the high speeds and the free falling have proven to be harmful to the female anatomy. But park authorities don't want you to think they're being sexist. They say they're doing everything they can so both men and women can enjoy this slide without extreme consequences. However, this is not the only extreme ride in this park. There are many of them. If you're not a daredevil, this place will probably make you question its existence. But trust me, there are many people who would enjoy rides like these, even if there's a chance they might end up in the hospital hospital is the aqua scoot Vernon. Ready for another banned water slide from the Action Park in New Jersey? I hoped you would be. Yet another addition of incredibly dangerous and unsafe water slides is the Aqua Scoot, built in the 1980s. The Aqua Scoot had an extraordinary idea in mind of how the water slide should work. This entire water slide is made out of metal rollers. The only way to sit down was using a plastic sled. Visitors would carry a hard plastic sled up to the top of the ride and go down sliding with style. As they would hit the water, the plastic sled would allow visitors to skip across the water like a stone. Even though the idea may have seemed harmless in mind, the execution of this grandiose plan turned out to be disastrous. One main problem was that the plastic sled had to be placed in a very specific leaned back position. If the rider was not in this designated position, the sled would sink into the water as soon as it hit the pool. This of course would result in riders going head first across the pool. This faulty execution resulted in many head injuries. With three parallel slides, each 30 feet long, the dangerous slides were eventually removed in 1998. But the original Aqua Scoot pool was redesigned as a children's pool. Quite ironic. Insano, Brazil. Brazil is widely known for its loud carnivals and exotic landscapes that will take your breath away. Surely the place looks like an ongoing party of colors that never stops. Being such a tropical destination, it only makes sense that this country is also home to one of the tallest water slides in the world. It's called Insano, and when it opened in the late 80s, it was immediately considered the tallest and fastest by Guinness World Record. This ride is as high as a 14-story building. It's so high that you can even see the Atlantic Ocean from up there. And, of course, it will take you a while to get to the top, but it will only take you four or five seconds to make it down this steep water slide. However, I'm sure those five seconds will feel long. You are only allowed to ride on your back with your legs crossed, but probably that won't be a problem since you'll barely have any time or space to get into a different position. The Aquasphere, Australia. Nothing seems threatening about a ride that
that has the shape of a sphere. Honestly, it looks like any other regular fun ride at a water park. However, you only need to hear a few stories of what has happened inside this sphere to change your mind. To ride on the aqua sphere, you need to get inside a floating raft. It's all smooth and peaceful until you make it to the sphere, where your raft could easily turn you around and send you down backwards. And I guess we all like a few surprises and thrills, but the aquasphere has been so intense that some people have gone out of it with a few injuries. One of the scariest stories is that of a kid who got thrown against the wall of the slide so hard that he left the ride unconscious. The authorities had to close the park for 10 months so it could undergo strict testing and major improvements. Later on, some people came forward and admitted that there had been injuries during the test stages before the ride even opened to the public. Shoot the Rapids, Ohio. Cedar Point Water Park in Sandusky, Ohio is called the best amusement park in the world. Yes, even better than Disneyland. But even the best isn't safe from dangerous accidents. In July 2013, something on the very famous ride there, Shoot the Rapids, went horribly, horribly wrong. People were sitting on a boat, ready to have the time of their life, but it would soon turn into the worst time they've ever had. The boat suddenly rolled backwards 187 feet down the left track, hit the edge of a concrete flume, hit another boat, and then flipped over. Riders were belted in and trapped upside down in the water. And it was probably only the quick action of park employees and bystanders that kept the incident from turning more tragic. The accident happened because two of the ride's safety features failed. One that was designed to keep the boats from sliding backwards, and the other that was supposed to keep the boats on track. Aren't those two critical things needed to, uh, you know, like, run the ride? Anyway, the ride wasn't officially shut down until 2016, and most Cedar Point fans were happy to see it go down in flames. Though, okay, well, not literally, but you get our point. Black Hole Water Slide Orlando. The Wet n Wild Water Park in Orlando is no more, but there was a ride there that everyone remembers. Many of the park's troubles revolved around the ride called the Black Hole. The ride injured one man in 1994 so badly that he sued the park and actually won. Not just a few thousand dollars, but a hefty amount of $1.73 million. The man said he was struck by something in the dark, and when he arrived at the bottom of the slide, he couldn't move his legs. Doctors had to insert a titanium plate into his neck. The park pleaded ignorance, which didn't seem like an awesome defense, but by now, we know parks aren't the best of apologizers. During the trial, some employees testified that rafts were constantly getting stuck, and that attendees would send a new raft into the ride before the first one was confirmed to have exited. That was probably the black hole's worst injury, and all this happened mainly in the dark, which must have made it much more dangerous. But again, it's a black hole. If something is going to happen to you, it's gonna happen in the dark. We are just glad the whole park is closed now. Geronimo Falls, Vernon. We are ending this list with another slide from Action Park. It really is one of the most infamous amusement parks and water parks in the world. Remember the cannonball loop? That was nothing. Geronimo Falls is another addition to the list of banned and dangerous water slides. Wanting to be one of the most extraordinary slides on Earth, the Geronimo Falls was remarkable by its mesmerizing height and nearly vertical slope. With a goal of faster descent and quicker rides, this particular water slide made a name for itself for being somewhat dangerous. If any visitor wanted to take a ride downtown, they had to lay flat on their back with arms and legs at their sides. The sides of the slide were so narrow that there was no other possible way to descend. As one can imagine, the steep height was a formula for natural disaster. Many visitors and park goers would end up with serious injuries and numerous complaints. Those who would end up riding down smoothly on the slide would be met with crashing force of the pool water. Needless to say, no part of the water slide was safe and secure, so it was eventually shut down due to lack of safety precautions. Something about the action park in New Jersey just brings pure trouble. Would you want to try any of these water slides? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in another video.